Well, good evening. Welcome to Bible study. Thank y'all for coming out. It's been a good day in the Lord. We're going to start with a scripture and then we'll have a short prayer. If you would turn in your Bibles to, I know y'all know 1 John 1, 9, but we're going to start in 8 and read through 10. It's always good to find out what comes before and what comes after. I've learned that here lately. Give y'all a minute to get there. First John 1, 8 through 10. Is that? Yeah, first John. And it reads, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. That's a a good verse there. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight, and we just thank you. Thank you for all that you've done, that you kept us today, Lord. Woke us up this morning. We had a good day, and you pray that you give us a peaceful night to sleep tonight, Lord. Wake us up again tomorrow, but we know if we don't, we'll be with you. Continue to bless Sweet Home in a mighty way. Touch our pastor and his family, Lord. Continue to give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord. Open our hearts and our minds tonight, Lord, that we can receive your message and that we'll take it with us when we go and be able to live live our life for you as, as, as the way you want us to do, Lord. We love you so much and we praise you and we give you all the glory. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You pastor is on his way. When we were younger, didn't know no better, we would run to the mic. Now we want to run from it. (laughs) Too late. (laughs) Amen. Amen. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. My pastor always say we raise our hand to indicate that we've had a wonderful day in the Lord. God has been so good to us. He woke us up early this morning and started us on our way. Easter, oh man, 2024, at the door, amen, so glad, so glad, so glad, let us go a little higher, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning, being such an awesome God, we love you, we love you, we love you, thank you for coming to save an old broken wretch like me, been good to me, brought me such a mighty long way, thank you for my pastor, crown his head, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We truly love our pastor, Lord. Thank you. Good and fertile ground here at Sweet Home, and we just we just want to say thank you. We come praying for the sick, lost to shut in, those who are homeless, uh, need a meal, and need some uh, protection. Lord, we ask you to touch them. Stir up the gift that's on the inside of them, Father, that they may want to draw nearer and closer to you. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm excited, y'all. We're in the middle of the week, and uh, I'm trying my best to uh, relax. And, uh, I always say my the mule is bucking in my stall, and I'm trying to Calm down, calm down, calm down. We're going to be all right. Amen. I'm going to, I won't be long because uh, we got, uh, they got some things to do tonight and uh, uh, prepare for Easter. But if you will, let's look at Isaiah 40 and 8. Isaiah 40, verse 8. Just one verse. It reads, the grass withered, the flower faded, 
But the word of our God shall stand forever. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I, I know this is it's hard for me, but I'm gonna do my best to teach this thing. But it's actually a, a sermon. Amen. I'm a, y'all pray for me. Pray for me. It's called having stability in this world. Having stability in this world. Uh, when I look at when I look at when we look at the world, uh, everything's changing. Everything I, I, I'm just observing with what I see. We're standing on very shaky ground. Uh, everything appears to change. I'm just going to kind of run through people change, uh, prices change, technology change. I hate to say this, but people change and they sex, gender change. The weather change. <laughs> Our vision is changing. Uh, you can say ouch. I'm going to say ouch. Weight change. Everything seems to change. But there got to be some stability in order for us to stay sane. For, for, I'm going to just speak for myself. For me to not to go crazy, I got to have some stability in my life. Uh, let me just, I, I don't have a lot of, stability means steadiness, means security. Stable means to be firm, secure, not easily moved. The grass withered. The flower faded. But here's the stability. But the word of God shall stand forever. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was, the word was with God and the word was God. The word does not change. In order for us not to go crazy, we, we need the word to make it in this unstable world, we need the word. There must be some stability in your life. Uh, in order to have a functioning house, uh, there must be some stability. Uh, our children are the way they are because they see, they don't see enough stability. You can't have a new uncle every week. <laughs> you can't. You gotta have some stability. Let me move on. I, don't know, I, I know I got to make it to my truth. Let me just read my points. <laughs> to have stability, number one, you need a solid foundation. Matthew 16, 18. You need a solid foundation. And I say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell to not, shall not prevail. It's very important. You got to have a solid foundation. Uh, to have a stable building. You need a solid foundation. You know, that, that, that story we see about the, the pigs with the houses and, and the 
when the wolf come and blow houses down. <laughs> it be, if you have a house, you got to build your house. You got to build your house on Jesus. Amen. You, got, you need a solid foundation if you want to have some stability. Number two, I'm going fast. You need a solid word. A word that won't change. Matthew 5, 18. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, not one dot, jot, or one till shall pass away from the law to be fulfilled. You need a word that won't change. A word. We, I, I don't know how in the world, I could, I could tell you for myself, I couldn't make it without the word. I need a word, the word in my life to be on, to have a, 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 some stability in my life. I need the word. I need a word that's not going to change from week to week. I need something solid I can stand on to have some stability in my life. I need the word. Hebrews 13 and 8 says, Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. I need the word. Something that's not going to change. I need him in my life. That's a solid word. Amen. The grass withered, the flower, but the word shall stand forever. To have stability, I say again, you need the word. The beginning was the word. The word will not come back void. We need the word. Now, I'm, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to my third point, but I'm going to go to my seat, too. I'm going I'm to kind of holler at, at our, our holy rollers. Because we're still talking about having stability in, the, in this world. We need some stability. But number three, I'm going to say it like this. We need his grace. Sometimes in life, you're going to get weak. Sometimes you're going to have some pain. Sometimes you're going to say some stuff that may not seem to be holy. Are y'all with me? Uh, 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 but you, but you're gonna need this. This grace is for balance. You need His grace, cause see, sometimes you're gonna need something to, <laughs> to lean on. <laughs> Amen. And He said in in Second Corinthians, is it Second Corinthians twelve nine and ten? He said unto me, He said unto me, My grace is sufficient. For thee, uh, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly thereof, I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take in in uh, I take pleasure in infirmities and in reproaches and necess necessities and persecutions and in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. See, I need his. His, I need that. I need that. So His grace, so I can just lean on Him sometime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, He say, "Yay, though I walk through the valley, <laughs> I feel no evil." He say, "He say, He say, I feel no evil for Thou art with me, Thy rod and Thy staff." See, I got something. <laughs> I got something I can lean on. Because I know I'm going to get weak. 
I need some stability in my life. In order for me to have some stability, I'm going to need his grace. Y'all might see, y'all might see, I can't be Rip Hunter, but see, I got his grace. Because I got a little bit, I, can, I got some stability. I can lean on him for his grace. In order to have stability in my life, I need the foundation. I need the word. I need a solid word, and I'm going to need his grace. The grass withered, flower faded, but the word shall stand forever. I need some stability in my life to have this. I I have all of these. I have stability. I need the word. We, We all need the word to have some stability in this world. The ground, I, I'm not walking on shaky ground. We're looking at all these things that, look what just happened. Was it yesterday or the day when the bridge fell down? Yesterday. We need some stability. Something solid. Don't need people running in and my life, in and out of my life. Need some stability. In this world, I need a solid foundation. Something I can stand on. I'm ready to go to my seat, but I said I wasn't going to do this. But I got to show y'all this. Riley Joy. Riley Joy. Where you at? Somebody go get Riley Joy. I need Riley Joy. I'm going to put her on the spot. I'm going to put Riley Joy on the spot. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. To have a solid foundation. I don't know about you, but for as for me in my house. Riley Joy, she has a we got an old old saying. She gonna say it, she don't even know it. I have no other choice but to trust you. Only one night, though. Come on. Now, look, she sang this song all day. I have no other choice but to trust you. Only one night, though. Y'all. As for me and my house, can y'all feel the, the, the foundation getting stronger? <laughs> Come on. All right. We're going to do it together. Uh, as for no other choice but to trust you. Jesus, no other choice, right? Now you do it. You can do it. You can hold that. You want to hold it? Oh my God. We we put it on the spot, y'all. Amen. <laughs> but but uh, as for me and my house, I'm gonna serve the Lord. And it starts with them. And when I heard her singing that song, I got my heart just. I couldn't explain this, but I could feel the, sound, the foundation got just a little bit stronger. Amen? We got to have the word. And when you put the word in them, 
They, they already got the foundation. She said, only one night, dog. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm getting out the way for, uh, for uh, oh, it's offering time. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Mm. Yes. They got the foundation. Need some stability. Gotta have stability. Man, I, I, I really, I, all I can think of when I think about the foundation, I think about my grandmother. How she made us go to church. We didn't have no choice. We went kicking and screaming, but we was there. But she, she laid that foundation. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm done uh, offering time. And uh, I don't even know where to go. I'm lost right now. Oh, we give and go. That's right. I'm just too excited. <laughs> Y'all had to be there when she said that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, is that Riley? I don't have my, oh, baby. We got to record it, amen. <laughs> she, wanna, she had too many people watching her today, amen. Amen, let's, let's, <laughs> let's give it a go. Lord, we thank you for uh, what you have blessed us to have. We ask you just blow on it, bless it, multiply it. We just want to say thank you for what we have heard, what we've seen, and what you have done in our lives. We thank you, Jesus' name, amen. Amen, you can give and you may be dismissed.